Hey, welcome to the channel where we show you how to put some prep in your step. Today I want to talk about one of the other new features of Tableau 2021.3 and that's the linked tasks. This is a really good and useful new feature with Tableau Prep Conductor that allows you to really create a more fluid pipeline for your data. And so now instead of trying to increment your different flows, especially if you're outputting a data source in one flow and then using that data source in another, it can be really hard to keep track of the schedules of all of those different flows. And you might have to constantly go back and figure out which is this on a daily schedule. And then I have to go and schedule this other flow on a, a, you know, a daily schedule, but one hour later, it can be really confusing. And so this really helps narrow that down and make it all one fluid motion. So uh, let's dive into it. So I've got the Tableau website pulled up, which that gives you a rundown of the new features. Um, and so just a brief description of the linked tasks. It says you can now schedule flows to run after one another, automate the orchestration of multiple flows, ensuring they happen in sequence after each task completes successfully. Uh, and that's another key item is this will help you ensure that each of the data sources that are a part of your flow have successfully updated. Now, if you're like me, the first thing you probably did was go to your published, one of your published flows and try to look at the linked task window and, and kind of explore it. And so if I go to my Tableau prep flows folder and just go to one that's published, um, let's go to scheduled tasks and I'm gonna try to schedule a new task. And so you can see the window still looks the same. It's, there's still my options here. I don't see the linked tasks here. And so this one took me a little bit to figure out. Um, now, so if you are a site admin or a server admin, the first thing you wanna do to ensure that your users have access to this feature is you'll go into your settings here and you have to enable the linked tasks. So if you are not an admin and you go to your prep flows and you don't see the ability to schedule linked tasks, then you need to reach out to your site or server admin and let them know, hey, can we get the, the linked tasks enabled? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let uh, users schedule link tasks. Um, now this, you know, to let users run the linked tasks manually, um, I haven't needed to use that, so I'm not going to enable it, but maybe for your use um, or the way that your company is using it, you would occasionally need to run them manually. Um, so, but it does give you the option whether to let the users just schedule them and or to let them also run them manually. So now when I go back, go back to my prep flows folder and go back to my flow. Now when I schedule, now there's a new little tab here, the linked tasks tabs. And so when you go here, you can see it still lets you set the schedule and it's still the, you know, the more um, fixed schedules. But then you also, now you have the flow one and it says, which flow do I wanna have first? I can still select my output steps if I have multiple outputs. Uh, and then there's also a second flow down here. So before we get into that, um, I'm gonna pull up the uh, just the Superstore flow. So this is the sample Superstore flow that you can see whenever you open up Tableau Prep. And it has two outputs to it. It has this Superstore sales output and then this annual performance or annual regional performance output. Um, but you can see that it's essential that regional performance output is basically a continuation of the Superstore sales output. So if I, in my organization, had these split up into two separate flows, I would really be starting this uh, annual performance flow with this data source. And so in my Tableau online site, that's what I did. So I'm gonna pull that back up. And so you can see here, I've got the Superstore sales flow and it ends at that data source. And then I have an annual performance flow and it starts with that Superstore sales data source and continues on into the annual performance. And so before this release, what I would have to do is go to my Superstore sales and say a new task and before there was the linked tasks. And let's say I would have to schedule this to run every 24 hours starting at 7 a.m., right? 
And then for my annual performance, I would have to set it to run every 24 hours starting at 8 a.m. to ensure that it had the updated records from the Superstore sales. But uh, the problem with that is you can start running into if some of the flows feeding into your data source are refreshing at different um, increments, then your data sources are never truly in sync. So this kind of helps with that. So now that I've published them separately, they're two separate flows and they have two separate outputs. So now I can use my linked tasks and say, I want my superstore sales to run first. I want that to run every day at 8 a.m. I want it to output my superstore sales flow. And it also gives me some options if the task fails. So of course, if the task succeeds, it's gonna run the ne next task. But if the task fails, do I want it to completely stop and not run any of the additional flows or do I want it to go ahead and run the flows that are downstream, but just add a data quality warning to them so that way users that are using those data sources know this didn't fully update so some of the data may be out of sync. Um, so those are a couple of the options there. And then I would select my second flow here. So it gives you a list of any published flows you may have. And it can I can select this. So now it even tells you it's going to run the annual performance flow downstream of the Superstore sales flow. And so I can even add a third task if I wanted to. So if I have multiple flows that are all kind of running into each other, you can add more of those together. But I've just got the two. And so I'm going to go ahead and create tasks. And so now you'll see this is the first of the two linked tasks. And if I go and look at my annual performance, it's the second of the linked tasks. So really simple, just, you know, you want to make sure that the feature is enabled. And if you can't see it, if you try, and again, if you try to go and schedule a task and you don't see this, linked tasks tab, then you need to get with your site admin or your server admin and have them enable that feature so that way you can do that. Um, this is, again, a really good way to make sure that you're, you can really strategize and plan out what your pipeline needs to look like and your differing data sources. And it also kind of allows you to simplify some of your flows. And maybe you have this really big process uh, that starts to get confusing. It's hard to follow because of all of the steps in there. You can now start to sort of separate it out into different pieces that are smaller, but they're still running together because you can link them together. Um, so just a quick video today on how to utilize that feature. Um, I hope you get some use out of it. I hope you're able to utilize it successfully within your organization. Um, we're already using it and finding some success with it. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Uh, you know, as always, leave me some feedback, leave me some comments, and I hope to see you in the next one.